Hey, what's going on guys? Matt here at DetailKing.com and today I want to show you how you can dress up your engine bay plastic and rubber components as well as the interior plastics using our non-silicone dressings. So stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Now with all the different plastic and rubber components on today's vehicles, when they dry up, they can really look dull and nasty and not give you that nice, clean, fresh look for your vehicle, especially on the engine bays. That's when I like to reach for our non-silicone dressing. This is really gonna help to clean up all the different plastic and rubber components and give it that nice new look once again. Now you don't just want to use any type of dressing when doing your engine bays. The reason being is if it's silicone based, it can actually be very harmful to your electrical components, especially your O2 sensors. Now our non-silicone dressing obviously is very safe to use on all of your engine bay, uh, all your engine bay components, as well as your tires and even running board plastics, which it's not going to leave it slippery. Basically good to use on any of your exterior plastic components, not to mention it's body shop safe. It's very simple and very easy to use. Let me show you how. Now there's a couple different methods that we can use here when applying on the non-silicone dressing to all these engine components by simply using a shop towel and an air gun. But first things first, let's go ahead and apply on the non-silicone dressing. So all we wanna do here is spray an even mist or an even amount of the dressing onto the plastics and onto the rubber components of the engine bay. Making sure we hit up all the different areas. Now we're gonna allow this to set up on these areas for just a few seconds. And then now what I can do is simply take a shop towel and go ahead and evenly spread out all the dressing all over these different areas. Now the reason why I like to use a shop towel is it doesn't leave any of that lint like most towels may leave behind, um, such as like Turk towels or anything else, as well as it doesn't absorb a lot of that dressing. So that means it helps us to really evenly spread out all that product instead of sucking it all up or soaking it all up, I should say. Making sure we really hit up all these different plastics, even some of these different containers and lids. You can already start to tell it's given that nice, fresh look, especially that nice, deep black look that these plastics should have. Again, if you work in a body shop, this product is safe to use since it's not silicone based. And again, it's not gonna be harmful to any of these electrical components if it gets a little bit wet or saturated a little bit with the non-silicone dressing. Now, as we get down to some of these harder to reach areas, especially between these different cracks or crevices, like you can see here on the intake casing and hosing and whatnot, all we need to do is simply take an air gun or some type of compressed air tool. And now we can use this, uh, the compressed air, to really even out any of that excess dressing or again, to really spread it out on those hard to reach areas.
as you can see, with just a little bit of effort, a shop towel, and an air gun, we were able to really dress up this engine bay's plastic components and rubber components to really make it look fresh and new once again. It's as simple and easy as that. Now, if you're looking for a good interior dressing that's gonna give you that nice shine without that nasty film or residue left over, but is still non-silicone based, then our Shine On is probably the perfect dressing for you. It's simple and easy to use. All we need to do is I like to uh, spray it onto the applicator first, and then we're gonna go ahead and apply it right on to the dashboard here. And you can already see just how that dressing is really giving a nice deep black shine and finish to that dashboard there. Just gonna apply a little bit more onto the applicator and then go ahead and finish up the rest of this area. Now it's good to use and safe to use on all of your interior plastics or different type of interior plastics and vinyls as well as some rubber pieces as well. And honestly, it's just as simple and as easy as that. So for more information on our non, our, our non silicone dressings, visit us right here at detailking.com. Give us a call and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking below. Hurry up, click it. We'll see you guys next time.